Hey guys, welcome back to the arena. Uh, if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you do end up liking my content, please consider subscribing and maybe sharing it with a friend of yours. For my returning viewers, thank you guys so much again for coming back. I really do appreciate you. So we're gonna be doing a little bit more ladder grinding here uh, with the Mono White Tokens deck. Made a couple changes. And then before I get into it, I do wanna give a big shout out to my members. Um, I really appreciate you guys to helping support my channel. If you'd like to become a member and have early access to my content for as little as $1.99 a month to help support me and the channel, here's exactly how you do that. If you would like to become a member and help support my channel, you can do so. Just click on the join button right next to where it says subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Um, or if you would like to just support my channel just on a one-time basis, you can also click the super thanks button uh, here right on the, uh, also right under the banner here for the video. So these are both great ways to support the channel. I really appreciate you guys and I couldn't do this without you. So thank you guys so much again for your consideration. All right, let's get into some games. Okay, so let's take a look here at some of the changes. So I found out that um, kind of that kept losing to like board wipe type deck strategies like the um, the Boros Tokens deck that it's more of like a control build just was really giving this deck fits. Um, also, the black green matchup was kind of rough and basically just decks that have access to board wipes can be pretty nasty. I found I found that it uh, even having, you know, just sort of some tough times with the mono red matchup uh, with the, I guess, more of like the Rakdos um, pump all in kind of deck. So I wanted to, I guess, focus on a little bit more kind of interaction. Um, and I thought this might be a good deck for Invasion of Gobakan. So I ended up cutting the, um, oh God, I can't think of the name of it, Virtue of Loyalty, just because it was kind of more of like a end game inevitability kind of card. It, it wasn't quite as synergistic with everything else in terms of, um, you know, getting multiple threats out onto the table. So I felt like, you know, kind of front loading instead of trying to like deal with like the end game. Uh, if we get to the end game, maybe we're not doing so well. So instead I, I replaced it with two copies of Invasion of Goba Khan, um, which really kind of fights against those types of effects where you can like on turn three or turn four, just take out their momentary uh, temporary lockdown or their board wipe, um, sunfall, whatever the case may be. And a uh, pretty powerful effect also that it can pump up the team and then help um, all the creatures survive. Uh, one piece of removal is pretty nice too with the light shield array. So opting for two copies just because this is not a card you wanna like have too many copies of just so you don't have enough stuff to do. And then I also filled out the full play set here of Recruitment Officer just to give us some even more explosive starts. So excited to see how this turns out. Let's go ahead and jump into some games. Still kind of struggling in um, early Platinum, but I think that maybe this, this build will help it kind of turn the corner a little bit. But overall, I like, you know, kind of the general plan to sort of vomiting out a bunch of creatures and just getting very aggressive. Um, I think now it's just kind of fine tuning how much interaction we want to have, how much permission we want to have uh, in terms of like removal and things like that. Uh, right now, we just have the play set of the um, Case of the Gateway Express, um, which is probably not enough, but we'll see. All right, opening hand looks great. We've got a nice turn one, turn two play. And <clears throat> being in this situation, I think we do wanna go with, for the officer here. Um, it's great if we can get like the value late game, but if we can push through some early damage, especially against a control deck, it can be really nice. That extra point usually does matter. Now we're just setting up for Knight Errant. So I guess we'll see if we're up against Lizards. Yeah, okay, it's Lizards. 
This is a pretty nice opener against Lizards, though. And Invasion is kind of fun, but we can do that next turn. Now I think we just, you know, basically play out the full hand, and then we'll see what we're up against. <clears throat> I guess like if we play this first and don't attack, we can potentially draw into uh, like Warden, but Warden doesn't help us this turn. So I think maybe we just go Inspector here, just so we can push a point of damage. I guess actually we're, we're happy trading our officer with this thing. Yeah, I think that's fine actually. We'll offer the trade. Yeah, and if we can sneak through two points of damage, that feels pretty good. Okay, let's see what you got. I guess this is like the, the lifelink thing or whatever. Okay, not entirely sure what they had planned there. Could invasion here? I don't think they have any board wipes. I think it's just more, I guess we could take away like any sort of like lifelink nonsense they might have. We can just push for a lot. Yeah, I think we just hop to it this turn. Get another Knight Errant going. Guess we can do that post-combat though. All right, so I think we attack with everything here except for just enough to get Knight Errant going. There's Warden. Already have an officer. We just want another inspector. Yeah, this is looking pretty good right now. I don't think this deck run, runs board wipes. See, what do they take? They gotta hop to it. Case is really good. Case plus Warden feels great. Yeah, that's gonna do it. One and oh. But yeah, I think that, you know, I, I like the changes, kind of bringing it even lower to the ground, making it a bit faster. Uh, just seems to be good, especially since we don't have any kind of um, like just straight damage to face or haste creatures. Bringing it lower to the ground feels right. This is an interesting one. <clears throat> we could go Warden Guard. Um, and I guess like Warden is slightly better if we draw into reinforcements. I mean, we could bash for three this way. If we draw reinforcements next turn, 
Otherwise, we could like get Warden going. But against Red Green, it really just depends on if this is like the pump deck or if this is Domain or something like that. So I think I'm going to go Warren Guard here, just because I feel like it could be Domain. And like we want to be as fast as possible against that deck. Okay, I guess it's probably pump, yeah. Definitely need land really badly. Hopefully don't get just choked on like two mana here. I mean with 22 sources, I feel like that's probably right. I don't think going up to 23 is right. Okay, there's the land, super helpful. Now we can go hop to it into Night Errant. Hopefully it's enough to stay in this game. Um, let's see, what do we wanna do? Probably want at least one Evangelist just so we have like blockers in the air. Otherwise I guess we could go like these two I think air blockers, well, we've got one evangelist in hand. I mean, we're probably going like hop to it next turn. I suppose if we draw a land, it's probably good to get inspector going. So that's kind of like a little speculative, but. We can also try to pump Warden up into, into the air. Definitely snap blocking here. We can't afford to not block. Might still just be dead here. Okay, we need one more point. Yeah, that'll do it, okay. So yeah, even that, that tiny little stumble against show off is just brutal. One and one. I think the card that I miss <clears throat> probably the most from Mono White with uh, rotation is March of Otherworldly Light. That was really good against decks like that. Just to give us like interaction. Elspeth's Smite is, eh, I don't know. Feels really narrow. <clears throat> Invoke, okay. That'll work. Looks good. If we can <clears throat> win the warden race, feeling pretty good. Yeah, that 
was definitely good if that's all they had. I think I just want to go evangelist here. Um, I mean, hop to it like we do like the double and then just like not attack. Actually, that's probably better. Just doubling up. Don't need any more land. I will take that though. Then we can set up Evangelist. And I don't think they have good war they have good answers for Warden here, so I think we just ride Warden to victory. Yeah, Imidanes is not gonna do it. Um, yeah, I'll take another reinforcements. Oops, oh, didn't mean to attack with the inspector. That was a misclick. Um, I don't think it'll matter, but... I guess it could, it's possible. So let's see, is that enough? We've got seven, nine, ten. Not quite enough. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay, so we're still kind of fighting in low platinum, but um, I feel better about the changes. I feel like this was a nice improvement um, two and one for this um, this session let's take a look at the overall stats all right so we're at currently 64 percent win rate 75 percent on the play 56 percent on the draw so yeah much much better on the play with this type of deck <clears throat> just because we have so little reactivity even with the changes um, mono red we are six and three so 67 percent Looks like we're a little bit better than even with um, Rakdos, whether it's Pump or Lizards. And then we've got um, four and three against Black Green. This is our tough matchup. The Boros, I think this is the Boros Control deck. Um, Convoke felt decent, just kind of like, a, I guess a little bit of a coin flip there, depending on how we draw. Um, but, um, yeah, Boros Control tokens is kind of a rough matchup. Hopefully this will make it a little better. And then 4-0 here against Orzov mid-range. 2-1 um, against Azorius Control. 2-1 uh, against Gruel Pump. 2-0 against Demir. 2-0 against Selesnya. I think this is like Selesnya Rabbits, I want to say. 1-0 um, against a Mono White deck. And then looks like one loss here against Domain. So... We're getting kind of a, a better picture of how this deck is performing overall. 29 wins, 16 losses, 
We will see you for the next one. Thanks, guys, again for watching. Appreciate you.